So I jump in, yeah. Well, it's interesting. Well, the question that John poses there, what's his best position? It's an easy answer, to be honest. The position we saw him play last night when he came on the pitch as a number eight uh, alongside uh, Fernandez with a holding midfielder sat behind. That's your classic V-shaped in midfield. And that's the best uh, position for Pogba and Fernandez. Because they, if they play consistently in that position for Manchester United from the start of next season, you're looking at two midfield players who are probably guaranteed between 20 and 30 goals and probably the same in assists. And that's absolutely huge. And that's as good as any pairing that you'll see uh, in world football. And I'd include Liverpool on that. Liverpool couldn't c- compete with midfielders of that quality. The, the, the discussion centres around really the player best suited to complement those players in midfield. And look at the United setup at the moment, it's McTominay or Fred. Because you need somebody in a holding midfield position who's defensively sound, good read of the game, very mobile all, over the ground, can cover both of those players. And Do a also, Henderson type job like Henderson does for Liverpool, basically. Absolutely. absolutely. And it was also good enough, John, to get on the ball and find those two players consistently higher up the pitch by playing 10, 15, 20 yard balls into their feet, breaking the lines. Because if they don't have that type of player, you'll find Fernandes and Drogba dropping 20 yards deeper, getting frustrated to receive the ball and playing the game in an orthodox midfield position. And you don't want them there. You want those two players as often as possible toward the yards from the opposition goal because they are lethal. In terms of their ability to beat people in 1v1 situations, pick the right, pick the right pass, get into the box and finish. And I'm heading the ability as well. Pogba is as good as a header of the ball arriving into the box as any midfielder. In fact, for me, he's the alongside the Bruyne, he's the best attacking midfield in possession. He's the best midfielder in the world. He can do absolutely everything in terms of his range of passing, be people in one v one situations, and arrive in the box and score goals. He's as good as anything. His frailties lie in his defensive mindset. So you have to counter, counteract that with a system that best complements him and a player sat behind him who can actually uh, do that kind of defensive workload for him. Fred showed those signs last, uh, before the lockdown. Potentially, he was developing to that type of player and he could be the answer because if United get it right in that midfield area and can, can consistently get Pogba and Fernandez onto the pitch in those number eight positions, not number 10, John, just drop the front. Those advanced number eight positions where we see the likes of... Uh, Oxlade, Chamberlain, uh, Keita play for Liverpool, but no, there's no two midfielders in the world that I can think of can match the numbers that Podge, Pogba and Fernandez can give to United going forward. They've got one or two issues forward around the pitch, uh, predominantly in, in defensive areas, but fundamentally, if they can get midfield position right, Manchester United can take a huge step forward with that pair in, in midfield. The big question is. Can they convince Pogba to stay that his future lies at United? And the fact he actually kept them on the bench last night for the opening period of the game actually doesn't help uh, Salzburg's position. If he was fit to play last night, Pogba, he should have played. Get 60 minutes out of him and get him off the pitch. That 60 minutes may have been enough for Manchester United to win that game of football last night. He can't be sat on the bench. If he keeps uh, Pogba on the bench between now and the end of the season, forget about that period of next season. Pogba's going to be away. He needs to make one more big push to convince Paul Pogba that Manchester United not only can qualify for the Champions League going forward, but can actually compete very quickly for the Premier League for the Premier League title.